Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to your June 2019 reading, general and love life reading for Taurus Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs and Venus Signs once I get started on your love life reading. As always, I'll start off with the general energies for the month, followed with the single spread, love life spread, and then the coupled up Taurus. And then we'll see what's going on for you guys. Um, thank you guys so, so much for all the love and support. All of you who have subscribed to me that are new to me, welcome. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. You, you have no idea how much you truly mean to me. So let's get started. Remember that the sign with the most views for the month and the most likes gets an extended love life reading for the following month. So coming first weekend of June, you should see who the top three signs were and I'll have those videos out. If you'd like a personal reading, my information is in the description box below. I am opening only a limited amount of slots mid-June through mid-July. Okay, so let's get started. What's going on for Taurus for the month of June 2019? Sun, moon, and rising sign, Taurus. Overall energy. Okay, the card flew out and I could see it from here. Give me one second. The card of let go. What are you holding on to? I feel some of you are, <coughs> excuse me, some of you are holding on to dear life to a connection, to a relationship, a situation, a job, unhealthy ties to certain people, codependent relationships, people that you know are not for your highest good, people that bring you down yet you can't seem to let go. You can't seem to, you know, move forward with your life without them. Also, I feel that for some of you, it's that negative self-talk, the... Um, you know, that, that negative self-talk, the unhealthy ideas you have running through your head where you're telling yourself, I'm not worthy of this, I'm not deserving of this, you know, um, I'm a bad person, I've done some bad shit, you know. It's time to let all that stuff go. You really need to go through your own healing process, forgive yourself, love yourself, and bring yourself back to life. Nobody wants to live in a forever pity party. And if that's you, you need help, Taurus. I'm just keeping it real, okay? So let's expand on that. Let's see what is going on for Taurus. Let's expand on the let go. What does Taurus need to let go of? What are they holding on to? Relationship, partnership, friendship, unhealthy habits. Some of you may be indulging overly indulging in certain behavior some of you i feel like you're you know entangled in some unhealthy behavior relationships uh situations and you're just replacing it with the next big thing or the next habit oh wow that obviously hit a nerve for someone it's like saying yep that's on point here we go Clarify the let go card. What does Taurus need to let go of? There's been some wrongdoing. Normally I wouldn't take this many cards, but we've got quite a few majors. Two aces. Wow. Okay, you guys, what's going on? Two kings flew out. Some of you are in between partners, have more than one partner, more than one man in your life. <coughs> Excuse me. King of Pentacles, King of Wands with the Nine of Wands at the bottom of the deck. You don't even want me to expand on that. It's like you are so tired, you can't even keep up the charade almost. Yeah. Yeah. 
Way too many cards are flipping out. That was the Ten of Swords. All right. Some of you need to let go of a third party situation. You need to let go of the options you have because just because you have these options doesn't mean you should be taking them up. Unless that is what you choose. See the Nine of Wands. Unless that is what you want. You want to have more than one partner, one, what, more than one option, in which case everyone should be made aware of what that is. Everyone should be made aware of your intentions. If you want an open relationship, if you want to date, if you want to see other people, if you want to have more than one partner, everyone needs to know that. If you are in business and you're looking at your options, maybe financing, maybe locations, maybe, you know, buying out a partner, maybe bringing in a partner. There's a lot that you've been thinking about in terms of what your next move is. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> what is up with this cough you know i have not had an issue with my cough i know i had it really bad the last couple months and you and capricorn are my very last two readings that i still need to do for june and the only reading that i coughed in was scorpio so if you are dealing with a scorpio you're not talking to each other and you need to. <coughs> okay. <coughs> I hate having to edit that out. Okay. Anyway, so here we go. Let go. What is it that you need to let go of? Well, perhaps at one point you were feeling as though there was an injustice in a certain situation. You felt like you weren't being treated fairly. So what did you want to do? It's like you just kind of wanted to throw in the towel and say, that's enough. I'm done. I'm moving on. Next phase of my life, you go from the world card, which is at the very end, successful, completion, graduation, next, moving on. Those of you graduating and, um, you know, starting new careers, let go of whatever mindset that you may have had about, you know, not being able to start your own business. Um, someone here is thinking you don't have enough experience because you're fresh out of college or you don't even have enough experience to go ahead and start a new business for yourself. But that's not true. I feel like you've gained the experience. You've gone through so much training. You've probably worked in that field or you've had a mentor help guide you. And so you feel as though there's so much promise in your future. You just don't know how to present yourself to the big guns, right? To, you know... Uh, the banks, the loan officers, the business loans to, you know, looking into investors. I feel like the truth is, is you know exactly what to do. You know how to manifest this new beginning. Just make sure that you look over all the contracts. You look over all the fine print. You, you make sure that what it is that you want, that you are comfortable signing, that it meets all your needs, that you know what the next step, what the next level is. Now, for those of you that this is a relationship with, there is a relationship that you know is just not good for you. At the same time, I feel <coughs> that some of you are like, no matter what I've tried to do to make this work with this person, I've had open dialogue, I've had open communication, you know, we've tried to start this new beginning, we've tried to, you know, reinvent our relationship, reconnect, we've taken the weekends off together to like reconnect together, we've talked about marriage, we've talked about making this official, making this a more traditional thing, but you're not on the same page. I feel that someone here is saying that they want the same thing, but it's exhausting to keep up with you or vice versa. It's exhausting for you to keep up with them because in reality, you don't even know what you want or they don't know what they want. card for the justice and it's the nine of wands it did come out in reverse yeah you feel like it's 
it's only right, it's only fair that after all the work you've put in that you stop putting any more work into it. You feel like things should just flow naturally and easily. And you're absolutely right, Taurus. If you are feeling emotionally, mentally, physically drained from a partnership or a relationship because you're just trying to force, you know, that square peg in a round hole, it's, it's, I feel as though I have to say the right partnership or the right relationship will flow naturally. Yes, a lot of relationships have miscommunications. They have, you know, hiccups and speed bumps along the way. But if it's a constant, you know, of being afraid of whether this next fight is going to be the final, final end all be all, then what are you doing with this person? If you are fighting to get along and instead you end up just fighting each other, right? <clears throat> Ten of Swords with the World card. As much as it has hurt you and pained you, this is a very difficult time for you whether you've made the decision or the decision has been made for you or the universe just stepped in and showed this person's true colors and said, enough is enough. Stop putting yourself through this shit, Taurus. You got to upgrade your life. You've got to level, level up. And the only way we can do this is if we show you those, that person's true intentions, that person's true colors. What does Taurus want to manifest? What is Taurus trying to manifest? What is this new beginning for them? You're trying to clear up some miscommunication. You're overthinking. You're trying to open up the, you know, the lines of communication. You're trying to come at someone to like clear the air, but you just don't know how to move in there to have this communication with them tell me about this ace of swords clarity yeah look at that and the fool card tell me about this ace of swords one more time okay no more cards so with the Ace of Swords, the Temperance and the Fool card. Obviously, when the universe wakes you up to what you've been avoiding and facing, the truth that's been slapping you in the face silly and yet you've been choosing to ignore it, or vice versa, remember this is a general reading, the, you know, it can go either way. You want things to be more calm and stable. You want a new beginning. And I feel that you've already tried that. You've taken a stab at it with your sword. And you're just like, I'm done trying. I'm letting go of the thought, the idea that we can start over and have a positive new beginning. That we can have a loving new beginning. That we can have an abundant new beginning. When in reality, after these three swords have just, you know, been so brutal to me. I've got myself with one sword and I've got to do what I need to do for myself. Clarify the Hierophant, please. That is your card. That is you finding your own, you know, balance. Your inner compass, your inner moral compass of you know what to do next. Some of you may have been indulging in, you know, relationships or situations or partnerships that you know aren't good for you. <laughs> exactly what I said, that you know aren't good for you, right? With the devil card and the five of wands. So some of you may need to seek the help of a professional, counseling, therapy, uh, those of you with addictions or codependencies, you'll need to seek that type of 
you know, assistance because this conflict, it's not leaving you this inner conflict. And if you're not right with yourself, you're not getting well or getting along with others. And I feel as though some of you have already accepted that this type of shit, it's just you already. You've accepted it like you're okay with it now, which is, you know, BS, by the way. You can change at any time. It is your choice. What is the advice? Advice for Taurus to let go. As we go through the month of June and into July, cancer season, June, July, you'll start to feel a little bit better. You start to break away from this self-imposed prison because as I said, you do have a choice here. You've accepted that, you know, whatever poor choices you've made in the past, you're going to pay for the rest of your life. I mean, does that sound logical to you, Taurus? So you mess up once, twice, even if you messed up 10 times, 50 times. Does it seem right or fair that you continue to punish yourself? And if you feel like that's what you're deserving of is this self-imposed uh, imprisonment, this, you know, punishment then I strongly advise that you seek the counseling and therapy that you need if this is about addictions like, you know, you've had a problem with drinking or drugs or sex or whatever it may be. And you know that you have a problem. Continuing to gravitate towards that negative environment, that toxic and unhealthy environment or behaviors or habits will only keep you there. And so what do you need to let go of? The continued negative self-talk, the pity party. You may have, you know, messed up a couple times and then you keep yourself in this you know, sense of I'm not worthy, I'm not deserving of, you know, something more or something better. And so if you're talking down to yourself, you're just attracting more people that will see you in that negative light. And if they already do, then they'll just continue to see you that way. Because if you don't love yourself, care for yourself, respect yourself, then how can anyone come in and not feel the same way about you? It is not someone else's job to tell you you're worthy, although I'm going to keep telling you. It is your job to make the right decision that is for yourself, for your highest good. So let go of the negative self-talk, the pity party, the woe is me, I fucked up one time in my life, 10 times in my life, and you know, I'm going to continue making poor choices because that's who I am. I'm going to make poor choices. And if that's not you, Taurus, you may be dealing with someone in that state of mind. And it's unfortunate, but you know, guide them towards the help that they need, but don't don't turn it into a codependent relationship where they have to, you know, only seek out your help, your guidance in order for them to feel like they're doing well for themselves. Let's move on to Taurus singles. Love life. Straight up single. Don't have anyone in their life. Or maybe those of you that have a love interest, you're interested in someone. It is safe for you to love peaked out. For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for June 2019. What is the overall message? Taurus singles. Let your friends help you. 
ask for and accept, oops, accept support from others. So if you are going through these tough times and you're trying to figure out how to better yourself, how to heal, how to um, be less susceptible to negative behaviors, uh, toxic relationships, unhealthy relationships or environments, you know, talk to your friends, be open and honest, people that you trust, people that, you know, can help guide you that, you know, aren't going to put a bandaid over the real issues here because the real people in your life will help you. The people that want to keep you in that unhealthy state, unhealthy frame of mind are going to convince you that you don't need help. And that you can keep partying or drinking or, you know, overindulging in whatever unhealthy behavior that you've been indulging in. So let's clarify that. Let your friends help you. Wow, that was quick. Seven of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, the Hermit Reversed. Death card, Scorpio. Page of Pentacles reversed. That is you or another Earth sign. Nine of Pentacles. Maybe you're dealing with a Virgo. Look at you have all Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All Earth signs here. Three of Wands. Four of Pentacles. Okay, so obviously you're feeling like your situation is feeling a bit unstable. Maybe you have made some poor choices, overindulged, you know, financially. Um, I feel that someone here may have lost some money, maybe spending money poorly if you've gotten an addiction that has obviously taken over your life or has... has made your home life quite unstable. I mean, as it is, you know, Taurus signs, you know, Earth signs, they're a bit of overthinkers sometimes, you know, because they want to make sure that they cross the T's and dot the I's. However, Taurus is one of the ones that's a little more faster moving, even if they, if they are in this Knight of Pentacles space. I feel as though, you know, Taurus tends to be a little bit more hasty, uh, a little bit more passionate, more, you know, wanting to rush things forward. Some of you, I feel like, you know, you put in a lot of work into a situation, into a relationship, whatever it may be, whether it's in yourself or in someone else. And maybe some of you are waiting on that offer to come in, or maybe some of you are thinking of making that offer. However... You have gotten to like deep isolation. You have resisted from going out from certain people. I feel that some of you that have, you know, stepped away from the limelight, so to speak. Okay, bear with me, Taurus, because what I'm seeing or what I'm feeling is someone who chose to isolate themselves, to have this pity party, to, you know, rather than indulge in um, something more positive or optimistic, they went the polar opposite. They went towards, you know, isolation, depression, negativity, shame spiral. Um, they indulged in situations where they hardly communicated with anyone. They literally isolated themselves. Like even their closest friends didn't know what the hell was going on. It's like this. I mean, the card of, you know, extreme isolation, depression, you know, not wanting to open up to anyone, not wanting to speak to anyone. And look at that death card. Complete hiding and feeling sorry for themselves because they've got their head down. 
they have the ability to start fresh, start something new, make better choices. But the choice that they keep, you know, that they've continued on making for themselves is to feel sorry for themselves. And I feel like they don't really know how to get themselves out of this, you know, train of thought, out of this mentality. And so for some of you, your friends may reach out to you and say, hey, what the hell's going on? We haven't seen you in a while. Wondering what's been going on with you. You don't text back. You don't call back. They might just show up at your house. You give some lame ass excuse of, you know, I've had a lot of my plate. I'm trying to figure out my next move for my life. I've been fucking up, you know, in reality, you've probably been at home drinking, smoking, you know, gaming your life away. You're doing things that require little to no interaction with the public. If you can have the beer delivered to you, you would. The beer or the booze or the weed or whatever it is that you're into. Like that's the only person you see is whoever it is that's bringing this to you. But you will get a knock at your door. You will get people showing up because they're going to be like, um, hello, what the hell's wrong with you? Because you've got people that love you and care about you. And you're not going to convince them that everything is a-okay. You're just taking your time making your next move for your future. I don't buy it. I don't think they will either. And so you're really now trying to peek out from this cloak, but you're still not letting anyone in to let them know what's really going on and what you've been feeling. Let me have a few more cards here to clarify. Let's, let's talk about this. Yeah. Yeah, you're not moving forward. You want to. And I feel that the minute you take the blindfold off and you allow people to come in, your friends to help you, you'll start to feel like your old self again. You'll go get a haircut. You'll go get your nails done. You'll, you'll go to the gym. You'll start walking. You'll start taking better care of yourself because maybe some of you look shaggy. Like you can tell, maybe you got a little pot belly because you've had a lot of pizza and beer. You're probably pale as fuck because you haven't left the house. You know, it's that kind of shit. And your friends are like, dude, like what's been going on with you? You missed so-and-so's party or you missed, you know, so-and-so's graduation or whatever it is. And you're not fooling anyone, Taurus. Your friends know when something is up. So let them help you get your shit back together. Let them help you find your balance. Let them help you find your own sense of stability. What it is that you need to feel victorious. What it is that you need to feel better about yourself. Because one day you're going to want to wake up and say, damn, the last two weeks, two months, two years, I've literally been up all night drinking, smoking, doing whatever, watching TV, feeling very unproductive. And one day you're going to feel like I haven't done shit with my life. What's the advice for Taurus singles here? Wow, let go of whatever it is that you're feeling tied and bound to. The addictions, the depression, you feel like you can't get out of it no matter what. You, We've got some Taurus singles here that have been feeling quite depressed. They're not sharing any of this information with anyone. They're not letting people know. Yeah, the world card. Remember, repeating cards, this is another deck. It's time for this cycle to end. Get the help that you need to stop feeling sorry for yourself. Ask your friends for help. Get professional help. Get healing, therapy, you know, AA, Al-Anon. Um, what's the one for drugs? Uh, Narconon or I don't know. I don't know. Um, you know, CODA, um, Overeaters Anonymous. 
You know, nowadays you can get freaking counseling and therapy on an app on your phone. I mean, seriously, there are people out there that if they knew how alone and how ashamed and pained you felt, they would make sure that you would never spend another second feeling that way. You are not alone. Stop shutting people out, Taurus. All right, that's Taurus singles. Stop feeling sorry for yourself, especially those that lost someone. I feel that you may have lost a few people because you were busy feeling sorry for yourself that you just shut them out. Taurus couples. What's going on for Taurus couples in a relationship married? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign for June 2019. Overall message, Taurus couples. Chemistry, nice. Are you feeling like you're very connected or reconnecting with a partner? Whoever it is that you are partnered up with, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. I feel that for some of you that have been maybe in a stagnant relationship, you are starting to feel like this resurgence, this reconnection between the two of you. You start to appreciate them for who they are, what they are, and maybe you realize how you've taken them for granted. That's not for all Tauruses, but I do feel like a sense of falling in love all over again. Maybe you had tried shutting people out if you have anything to do with the previous messages of this reading with the general and with the singles. Maybe you had tried pushing people away and then you realized as you got out of your rabbit hole that you missed a specific person, a certain connection that you had before. Let's clarify the chemistry card for couples, Taurus couples. Yeah, see? You want to come back in and be like, yeah, I know I fucked up. I know I did. Four of Cups. I made the bad decision of thinking that I didn't want you in my life. I was too busy feeling sorry for myself. I was too busy, you know, going through this depression and I realized you are what it is or who it is or the type of relationship connection. Yeah, look at that. Four of Wands. You are that person that I want. You are my person. That's what you communicate to them. Sorry for that interruption. Okay, let's keep going here. Couples. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, here it is, chemistry. You may have distanced yourself from someone at some point of your life. Maybe you needed to take a break from a relationship, a partnership. Um, you may have gotten into some sort of, you know, angry altercation, dispute. Um, there were things that had been hidden for quite some time and you became just this, you know, overbearing person. You just were shutting them out, you became cold. You kept trying to tell them like, it's for their own good, they don't wanna be a part of your life. Like again, I keep feeling like Taurus, you've gone through this bout of depression and feeling sorry for yourself almost. But once you start feeling a little bit better for yourself or about yourself, you realized what it is that you've been missing out. You've got two fours here, actually three fours because you have the emperor. And you realize, you know, I made the wrong choices. I made bad decisions. This is someone that I feel that I could have grown with, that I could have built a life with, that I could have had union commitment with what in the world was I thinking to let them go maybe if I come back in and say everything that I need to say make them an offer they can't refuse and I can try and take back control of this relationship that they might think about getting back together with me 
some of you are ready to fight for that relationship because you realize that no matter what, the two of you keep coming back to each other. There is a strong magnetic attraction here and you keep reconnecting or keep thinking about that person and they keep thinking about you. Your depression and your anxiety and your stress and pity parties was so strong. I mean, it sucked you in really, really bad. That they don't even realize how much strength and courage it took for you to come back in. It's like you fought yourself. You were fighting your own demons to come back in and make an offer. They don't know that and they don't see that. You need to make sure that they understand that. And that because you're still trying to find, you know, your peace within yourself, within the decisions, the mistakes of the past, you're trying to make peace with them. You're trying to, you know, be a little more careful of every step you take because you want progress. But you're aware that the issues from the past caused so much turmoil, so much pain. Not only did it bring down your world, but theirs too. So what's the advice? What's the next step for Taurus couples? Nine of Wands, repeating card. This is what, the fourth deck? Queen of Swords reversed. Okay. Fair warning. Fair warning. <laughs> Eight of Wands, you've got to make that first initial step of communication. Be prepared. If you are anticipating them to, you know, be forgiving and open and receiving, no. I feel like I've had this message for you, Taurus. Oh my God. Did I have this same message for you last month? Or was it for Pisces and you were dealing with the Pisces? Pisces was dealing with the Taurus. Queen of Swords reverse. Not only is she my cut a bitch queen where she don't care how she makes you feel. She's turned into this bitter Betty who, you know, overall has been through hell and back. And she is not as easily forgiving as you would like her to. And because she's in reverse, she is going to cut you up like you can't even imagine. And it's most likely well-deserved because you probably hurt her that badly. And you know you did with the nine of wands there. Like you actually thought about it after you said and did everything. And you realize how awful you were to them. And your next step is to communicate to be able to achieve happiness together apart whatever it is that you want for each other you've got to communicate you've got to tell them how you really feel if you fucked up take responsibility if you're cross watching and you fucked up take responsibility we've got people here that you know especially if you were dealing with you know a pisces because they've had like purge the whole year or you could be dealing with an Aquarius or an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There's your Pisces. I kid you not. Oh my God. There it is, Taurus. If you are dealing with any of those signs, and even if you're not, if this situation sounds familiar to you and you just aren't sure if you're ready to, you know, speak what it is that truly happened, what shouldn't have happened, how you should have, you know, shoulda, coulda, woulda, basically. If you have an opportunity to get all that off your chest, at least you can say that you got it off your chest, you did all you could, and it's up to them to be open to receiving and forgiving. Okay, Taurus, that was your June 2019 reading. Thank you guys so much. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button. The sign with the most views and most likes will get an extended reading the following month. Um, and so... I'll see you guys back in a couple weeks. Actually, I'm going to have a new moon reading coming out too. So make sure that you hit the bell twice so that you get alerted when I put up a new video. Okay? Take care, Taurus. Bye.